All right, what is it guys? My name is Brian, and I'm one artist name of Kloofy. All right, so I am finally back in front of the camera. It's been, I don't even know. Um, I did post a short video, I think like a month or two ago, just talking about what's been going on and pretty much the overall conclusion for the Spotify challenge. Um, that's over now. I haven't really checked my Spotify numbers in a bit. Yeah, that's not really my concern right now. My concern was I just want to get back in front of you guys and show you what I've been doing. So usually I go to Waco for school um, every like month or two, but now there's a long break. I think like four months, which is nice because that means there won't be any super long breaks in between videos. It is a little sad because I do enjoy the vibes there. I do enjoy the guys and the people and just the overall vibes of the program, but it is nice to be home and stay home for that matter. So here we are. Anyway, for today's video, um, I really didn't know what to do because um, I'm still kind of camera shy. It's been a few minutes, a few minutes, a few months. So I thought I'd just go back to what I was doing before, uh, make a random beat, see how it turns out, and then move on to the next one. So yeah, uh, also I think I got a couple plugins that I never got to show you guys. So it's a good chance to show you what I think about them. Yeah, overall, just get back into it. So let's go. All right. So let's talk about plugins. This one is called the Augmented Grand Piano. It is a contact piano and it just has a whole bunch of piano presets. Um, but I feel like some of these can be really good for lo-fi, especially if you turn down this like color thing, because if you play it normally, or I guess that's normally. But if you turn it down, it's a little muffled, it's a little more warm. So you get something like... Speaking of which, let's just use that for starting this beat. Um, I'm gonna mess with the EQ a little bit. It is warm. I wanted to be a little more melodically hearing. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna turn it up. I feel like that leaves me a lot of room to play with at the bottom right. So another contact thing, it's uh, strings. And I actually don't know what a lot of these sound like. Um, but what I end up just doing is turning the color down and then it actually sounds pretty nice. And then usually if you put a bunch of reverb on it, it sounds pretty good. That's a classic Kluvi sound, right? The bells. I liked the first part of that. messing with exhale a lot because you know it's like not a cheap plugin 
and I just felt like it was pretty limited in what I was using it for. So now I actually pick a preset, which that sounds pretty good, but if you go to the engine, you can uh, adjust like Rich Hump to like Mellow Ah, which I do like the Rich Hump better, but you see my point, right? I think that's good enough for today. Uh, yeah, not a crazy beat. I feel like it is very reminiscent of my older videos and my older style. You know, it's like around 80 BPM. It has the GMS pace for sure. And then, you know, the bells, the little piano, um, standard drum pattern. So yeah, I feel like it's a good place to set up so that we can get back into it and then show some more improvements. But anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. Um, it's been a long time and I am glad to be back on camera. I do hope and plan to be more on camera um, because school's gonna be a lot more routine now. Um, I actually start clinicals in I think like two weeks. So that'll be crazy seeing real patients, but yeah, it's just, it's time to lock it in and grind it out, so. I think that's it, bye.